Good afternoon. As I debate whether to go for another walk and jog and run and all that, I thought I would show another deck. This is the Spirit Within Tarot, which came the other day. I'm not sure what I think of it exactly yet. But let me zoom out a little bit first. Just to kind of show. Yep, I'm not wearing the shirt. I'm dressed for jogging and running. Trying to see. I think I'm just going to keep it right there and then go sit down. I'm going to zoom back in. I keep struggling with this moment here. Uh, mainly because... When I look at it on other devices, on the computer here, everything's fine. And in the Chrome browser, everything's fine. But out on the TV and what is that, a Kindle, a tablet I have, um, it gets chopped off. So I want to leave some at the bottom and some at the top and some on the sides. If any of that makes any sense. But let me go sit down. And then start showing the cards a little bit. I guess I'll just show them all. Let's see if I can move the mic without knocking everything over. Okay. And one of these lights might cut off in the middle of this because I didn't recharge it. But that's okay. I think there's enough sunlight as well. Ugh. So I don't think I'll show up. And that's, that's fine. <laughs> so let me take these away. Put them back in the proper place. And we'll get to it. What you're looking at there first is the book that comes with it. Which kind of gets right to the heart of it. There's a little bit of introduction. And then it jumps right into each of the cards. And I'll show you. There's a preference in it preface in other words and then let's see one of the cards one of the pages here's the fool and the magician so you can see how the books laid out you do get a color version of the card to look at <coughs> so that's pretty good let me change the microphone and it goes on like that all the way to the back about 197 pages 96 pages and there is a kind of, I guess, a unique spread, not really, but kind of a unique spread for this particular deck called the uh, Spirit Cross Spread. So there is that. That's a good sign, as many people point out. And here is the box. It has a little ribbon on the side. You can just yoink up and it opens. Unfortunately, it has the selfie in there. Not a fan of looking at the people, but that's okay. It says Red Feather. I don't know that I've had a deck from wherever that is or whatever that is before. Uh, printed in China. Uh, it's Schiffer. Okay, that explains that. So there's the, the deck. I mean the box. Did I show it correctly? And then thump it. <laughs> there you go. That seems to be a requirement in these videos. And I'm sticking with this style of video because some people have said that I'm easier to hear. Not that I think that's all that important, but it's easier to see also. First, that's what the backs of the cards look like. And you can tell up, you can't tell up from down, I don't think. I can, but it would take some effort. To remember where that person is if you can see it you can see there's kind of glossy if that's getting picked up see that reflection so they are kind of glossy there's the fool I'm not sure how I feel about the silhouette idea it's an interesting approach and this I guess this is kind of popular at the moment I don't know it's I don't really follow the right crowd or people, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little out of the loop 
or I don't know the right websites to go to, or I just don't care. <laughs> I'm not sure. I just find what I find on Amazon, basically. And sometimes Etsy, although I've gotten a bit disappointed with Etsy. eBay, I just plain don't trust, but that's okay. So let's get going. That's the fool. It's kind of nice, right? It's got the essence of what needs to be there if you're Ryder Waite Smith. Here's the Empress. I do like the solid color, but yet with a gradient in it. Like, you know, it varies. Purple dark, purple light. I like the overall purple black kind of theme it seems to have on the back and the box. That's the Magician. A poker size version of this I might use. I don't think I would use this. I don't I don't know. That's all I'm doing in 2017 is kind of showing them 2018. I'm going to go back through and then probably be way too opinionated and then decide on what I like and keep and all that sort of thing. But that was the Empress. Here's the Emperor. They do have a modern, more today kind of feel. Of course, they still have the old-fashioned names. It says Emperor. I've never known an Emperor. I've never known a Hierophant. But I do get the idea of the archetype symbolism. Doggone hat keeps hitting the microphone. Sorry about that. I turned it around. So that's the hair font. It's kind of the name's kind of on there twice. If you notice at the bottom, it flows through there again, kind of blended in with the background. I would have been happy to lose the white one where it says the lovers and kept the other one because then it would be less noticeable. It's pretty obvious they're the lovers to me. And it would be obvious to you if you used it after a while. The chariots, the skateboard. Hmm. I guess I'm liking it a little bit more with each card. <laughs> Strength. I like he's just they're just looking at each other and none of that ripping the mouth open thing. I get the idea of strength. Here's the hermit. That's a nice hermit. Very nice. I don't know that hermits always have to go to mountains. But then again, I'm in the mountains. <laughs> but I grew up in the mountains, so I like the mountains. But I could just as easily be a hermit in the desert. Probably been way more hermits in the desert anyway. I could be a hermit in Sweden or Finland, I guess. Maybe even Holland I could be a hermit. Here's the Wheel of Fortune, which really doesn't fit on the bottom of the car. That's okay. I guess. Justice would have been... I would have went with a woman, not with a man, but that's okay. Hanged Man has nice greens, if you can call them that. Green, gray... I like that. Ugh, that's that's actually a nice death card, except for the tombstones. That that just kind of locks it into one particular. Yeah, I'll save the opinions for the future, because <laughs> they'll obviously come back to this one. Temperance. I'm not sure I'm getting the DJ temperance. Maybe, maybe I kind of get it. I have to think about that one. The devil. Oh my goodness. Baby and the guy with the horns. Hmm. Let me move this in and get that that wax out of the way. There. Oops, that's too close. I don't want to lose the bottom like I keep seeing on the TV. But 
Maybe I'm the only one who uses Roku or Amazon or whatever I was using. Amazon Prime. I don't know what I'm using. The tower. I'm sure if they don't repeal net neutrality, I won't be using the internet at all. I could probably charge a prime premium price for using YouTube big time. The tower. That was my political moment there. The star. Yeah, I like that combination of colors. A pink, a gray, a light purple, and that bizarre green that the person's using. Huh. Here's the moon. Kind of missing the crab lobster thing there. Bummer. That's. I think that's uh, signifying one of those moons you see rarely I forget what it's called but it, it like takes up the whole sky practically I've seen a few of them over the years the last one I saw was in DC and it was it was huge it was monster size almost like we were about to be crushed by the moon but it had a gold yellow orangish kind of color about it that was cool I wish I had been aware enough to have videoed it but I just see it as something that'll happen again here's the Sun card looks like Stonehenge in the background there here's judgment I don't have any background on this deck or the artist creator so I'm not sure why they were approaching this as silhouette like this Like I say, I'm not, I'm not in the inner no of the tarot world, that's for sure. I'm on the outer. <laughs> so that was uh, the Major Arcana, that's the world card. And now we're going to look at the wands. And it's kind of cool in that just you know, glancing at it, you can see colors. So you can tell the wands from, say, the cups just at a glance just you know look at that that happens on a lot of decks I've noticed and that's a nice thing if you're trying to put them in order to show them or something I guess so I will probably speed along through these maybe I need to make room to put them down over here Two of Wands, let me know if something wasn't clear and I can go back and show it again. I don't mind. And any other comments or suggestions, you're also welcome. One of them might be, why don't you shut up and just show the card? <laughs> and that would be a good comment to make. <laughs> Four of Wands. I'm sure, as usual, the person who's disliking all these will be the first one to click on it. What they don't realize is if you're the first one on YouTube, at least in my experience, you're seeing it at the lowest possible resolution. The first viewer always sees it at the worst resolution, 360p. So I've been waiting to watch it myself until it says it's HD. But that person, whoever they are, always watches it right away so I guess what I have to do is to keep it unlisted and wait for it to become HD and then make it public but that means I have to wait another 10 or 15 minutes sometimes and I'd like to just do it and walk away or watch it and then walk away or watch it fast forward <laughs> Which is what I usually do. I'm just making sure the audio works. I'm pretty sure of the video at this point. That was the five of wands. This is the six of wands. I probably don't need to say because that looks pretty clear over there. Like I say, it's far away and my right eye is getting fuzzy. So I can't really see, but I can see the whites clear because of that super bright light that's blinding me. Seven of wands. 
And as the day goes on, I get more chatty. So I try to do these in the morning to keep back the chatter. Eight of Wands. It does have movement in there. That's pretty good. And the sun on the wands anyway. I guess that's to signify fire perhaps. I can't see the background there. I see... Hmm. I thought it was the shadow of, of animals, but I think it's just foliage of some sort. That, that is the Nine of Wands. This is the Ten of Wands. This is the Page of Wands. Sorry. Still working on how to get these plopped into place immediately. Almost like that cup needs to go forward. Pay what is that Knight of Wands. No horses. Here's a cat though, Queen of Wands. Clearly a cat. The King of Wands is in one of those fold up director chairs. Maybe I need to get one of those. <laughs> so I'll let that go while I get the cups ready. Okay, here come the cups, ace of cups. There's a bird in that one. I like that blue transition, that's nice. I guess that's the moon in the background. Moon and water go together, reckon. You reckon. That two of cups, I reckon. That's nice. Three of cups, a little dancing. I do like the colors. I gotta say, I probably said that 50 times already. Four of cups. Oh no, here it comes. Five of Cups, it's Ethan Hawke, the actor with the goatee. Go, goatee, is that what it's called? <laughs> the little beard on your chin and a nice arch bridge in the background. Way to go, Ethan. At least that's who it reminds me of. Six of Cups, Shadow Children. Seven of Cups with a nice crescent moon. Eight of Cups, she's out of there. Hmm. Nine of Cups. Sorry, these are kind of sticky. Even though I alcohol my hands before I handle cards, usually like 91% alcohol. You think it'd be uh, bad for your skin, but I actually think it kind of helps somehow. I don't know. I'm not saying I have nice skin or anything, but they feel clean. They don't always look clean because of painting. That's the Ten of Cups. Here comes the Page of Cups. They got a fish in that one, jumping right out of that cup. The Knight of Cups is that Ethan Hawke with his goatee cut off. <laughs> I gotta quit picking on Ethan Hawke. He might watch. Yeah, right. The Queen of Cups. She seems pretty. It's probably the hair, the shape. The big moon. And the King of Cups. Only two more to go. Up next is the swords with this bizarre lime green. Not sure what to call that color. I got no place to put the cards now. Dude, make room. You left it blank. Uh, sorry. Ace of Cups. Why well, I try to make room for this one. Give you something to look at there. I think that'll work. Uh, Ace of Cups. 
I mean swords. Did I say cups? Two of swords. Sorry if I do. Oh my goodness. Uh, hopefully I haven't hit the button over there. I don't think so. Three of swords. Three of cups. Three of swords. <laughs> Gosh. You're having an issue with this one. I know. Four of swords. Is that a sofa? Instead of the usual? I think it is a sofa. Hmm. Five of swords. Not sure what's going on with that leg. The right leg there. It's a striking pose. Six of swords. Yep. Yeah, I've been in lots of canoes and boats, but I've never actually done that where I push myself along. I've been in a swamp in a canoe, but I was sitting. I didn't stand up for fear of falling into the swamp, which was just loaded with alligators. They were everywhere. And here comes the Seven of Swords. Wow, that one kind of popped out. I wonder why. I guess because of the sun there. Hmm. That's interesting. How he's getting brightness with gray, black, and then some lime, limeish, greenish color. Interesting. Eight of swords. Sorry, it's kind of crooked, isn't it? I need a groove of some kind in that wood. Nine of swords. But I can't do it. I broke my Dremel. I don't want to buy a whole nother Dremel. I just want to fix that one. I'm definitely not going to Walmart today. All those people. My goodness. It'd be too much energy for me to, to take on. Ten of swords. Ouch. And double ouch. The rays from the sun make it look even worse. Doesn't it? Page of Swords. Wow, his hand got a little gigantic there. I guess that's perspective coming at us. There's a bird in this one. Knight of Swords up in the air there. Queen of Swords. She might be at a tablet or a computer, maybe. Maybe not. There is a diversity of people type. There's the King of Swords, as you can see. And then lastly, we've got the Pentacles. We'll move these over there. Oops, they're not looking at anything. Ace of Pentacles, sorry. Hmm. These might be a tad bit more contrived than the others because they're just floating pinnacles there on a guy on a unicycle. That's the two of pentacles. The three of pentacles while painting the room. <laughs> That's interesting. Four of pentacles. Hmm. Different but similar. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Six of Pentacles. Got a pitchfork. Seven of Pentacles. That's interesting. Eight of Pentacles. I can't see that well enough, but that's a sewing machine. And there's something on the cloth, but I can't see it without glasses. Here's another bird on the Nine of Pentacles. A fancy evening-like dress. Or who is that? Elvira. 
witchy like dress maybe she was a vampire not a witch maybe she was both I'm not sure ten of pentacles I guess that's typical dogs lots of people family like thing page of pentacles oops now that one kind of popped too why is that that's interesting how some of them do and some of them don't I can see by the corners that these won't it won't take much to rough these up so I guess I won't be able to rough them up but that's okay I have other ways to generate random I don't necessarily have to use the cards in that way you can tie a card to a number I'm cool with that they last longer well these kind poker cards are gonna last forever anyway practically Queen of Pentacles and lastly the King of Pentacles so with that I guess I will put the book back in there so we can have a little title thing and on the back of the book just so you know that's the strength card I believe all right uh, it doesn't want to sit and there on the front that's the front of the book so that was a quick show of the spirit within tarot by uh, Stephen Bright and I kind of like it uh, we'll see how it goes and I'll come back to that at another time so with that I will say peace <laughs>